Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we are doing a full face of drugstore makeup. Everything I have on my face right now is from the drugstore, and I think it looks so good and it is so super easy to achieve. So we are playing with some old drugstore makeup and some new drugstore makeup. Hint, hint, I got the Catrice Amon palettes and I love them. I would kiss them if I could, but I don't want to get lipstick all over them because they are so pretty and you guys are going to see them in action during this video. And then I went through my makeup stash and I grabbed some old drugstore products that I haven't played with for a while and we're going to play with those today. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this complete drugstore makeup look, go ahead and keep watching. All right, you guys, so we're starting out with primer. This is the Catrice Goodbye Pores Primer. This works really well if you have visible pores. It is a silicone base, at least I'm pretty, yeah, dimethicone. It's definitely a silicone base, so if you're not a fan of silicone, you might not like this, but I just use the tiniest little dot, and I put it right here where my more visible pores are, and I just kind of push it in as I rub it, so it really fills those pores, so when I go on with foundation, it's not sinking in. This is also one of those primers that just makes your entire face look super, super smooth. So if you wanted a really smooth finish, you could go over your entire face with this. I try to just keep it around the visible pores area. I did just use my skincare. I use Embryo Lease for my moisturizer, which doubles as a primer. So this is all I'm gonna use when it comes to primer and we're gonna move right on to foundation. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I love the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I have a whole video on this from a while back it's such a good foundation. I've stepped away from matte foundations in the last year, year and a half, but I recently started playing with this again and I love it. I wore it all day to work and it looked beautiful. I couldn't believe how much I loved the matte foundation. So we're gonna go in with this. It's a really cool package too. It looks very luxurious and it's got kind of like a dropper type of situation. So it's really fun when you apply it to your face as well. You kind of just like, you know, you can do the whole Instagram thing. So I'm gonna mix the color 030 beige and 010. I don't know about you guys where you live, but I feel like my allergies as of the last like few weeks since it is officially fall, they have been so terrible lately. My face has been so itchy. You can see my chin is all red because I've been itching it. By the way, this is the it Cosmetics Love is a Foundation Brush, the new one that everybody says is terrible. I don't hate it. I've been using it for the last week. Now, I haven't used their regular brush, but I don't know. I, it is a little bit hard on the face, but it's not terrible. Do I like my Sigma F80 more? I think I do, but I'm not mad that I purchased this. I don't want to return it, especially because some proceeds go to help I believe with cancer breast cancer I think I, I think I can't remember but anyway I don't hate it I, I definitely do not hate it but it is a bit hard on your face it's not the softest brush but it is pretty dense and you guys know me when I go in with a brush I always go on top of it with my sponge so I just have the AOA studio paw paw sponge this is a dollar and 55 cents and I love it so I'm just gonna take that sponge and press right on top of everything and apparently spread foundation under my eyes. I try to avoid putting foundation like really up under my face. Just get all that off because I'm going to go under there with concealer obviously and it just gets way too cakey. So if you guys find that your concealer is getting really cakey throughout the day and you bring your foundation up there, try to not do that. Just leave it. I know it looks funky right now and like I'm super tired. I am super tired, but once I go in with my concealer, it'll look fine. So give that a try if you're wondering why your concealer looks cakey throughout the day. Okay, so I'm going to go in with concealer now, and we're going to continue talking about allergies. For concealer, I'm using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This is good stuff. This might be a little light. I think it should be okay. I'll just look a little bright under there, but it's a nice, comfortable formula. I don't think it's super full coverage. The foundation is, is pretty full coverage, like a high-medium coverage. I don't think the concealer is high coverage I would say a solid medium coverage but it's very comfortable 
and it looks nice throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna continue talking about these allergies. So anyway, my allergies over the past few weeks have just been outrageous. So I just reordered Flonase, the Sensi Mist, which is literally the only kind of allergy medicine and I feel like I've tried it all. I've gotten allergy medicine from my doctor. I've tried every over-the-counter allergy medicine I feel like that exists and nothing seems to work except for Flonase Sensi Mist. So I'm gonna Try that again. There was like a twin pack on CVS. You guys can get such deals. I ordered a bunch of makeup on there. Not a bunch, but like some staples. Uh, the Maybelline Snapscara, which I'm obsessed with right now. I ordered it in brown, which I'm really excited. I just purchased the ColourPop brown concealer. Concealer. Um, mascara, and I didn't love it, but I might just have to let it sit for a while even though it didn't seem like a very wet formula i find that i like my mascara so much better when i let it kind of just like hang out for a while so we'll see about that but i ordered a bunch of my staples with that and you can just get you can use so many coupons it's crazy i think in all my stuff was like 90 dollars, but after using coupons and after using like extra bucks and stuff like that it came down to like 60 or something like that my savings were insane so check out CVS if you you know use coupons and stuff like that you can get a really really good deal on makeup okay and then just to set that I'm gonna use this essence brighten up banana powder I'm just gonna use a little bit of it on this wet and wild fluffy brush that was like oddly powdery for being a pressed powder but my under eyes look really nice all right real quick off camera I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline brow ultra slim in medium brown all right you guys brows are on I did set them up with a little bit of my glycerin soap I finally located this after forever which is why my brows are looking super fluffy it's not my best brow day but I'm not gonna cry about it so I really quickly just want to show you if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I will leave my handle right here so you guys can see I post lots of makeup things on there but I also post lots about my animals if you guys are new here I have a French Bulldog named George I have an exotic short hair named Stanley and then I have a Persian named Theo and they have the biggest personalities they're so funny so I always post them on there if you're interested in checking me out at Instagram give me a follow I'll leave it down below as well but I recently posted about the Catrice Amon palettes these are beautiful just the palettes themselves on the outside they're palettes that you're gonna want to keep on your you know makeup counter because they are so beautiful I look at these and I just feel calm for some reason and the stuff inside is beautiful highlighter palettes beautiful the cheek palettes beautiful the eyeshadow is beautiful so we're gonna go in with all three today so I'm actually gonna take the blush palette and I'm gonna use this shade as a little bit of a bronzer for me I'm just gonna go in super light-handed and I'm gonna use a mixture of all three of these blushes they're so pretty the only one that's shimmery is this guy right here but it's not a bad shimmery it's a beautiful shimmery so first I'm gonna go in and bronze with what's called Cairo I haven't used this as a bronzer yet and I'm not sure how I feel about that but I'm gonna just continue on I think because these are blushes it's just a little too pigmented for me and it's not blending quite as good because it is a blush and it's a little more pigmented than the typical bronzers I use but the color itself is really pretty I don't know if I love that for bronzer it worked but I think it's just a little too pigmented because it is a blush palette so I don't know I'm gonna have to see how I feel once I get my blush on I think it's just a little too pigmented because it's meant to be a blush but I am gonna go ahead and go in with all three of these shades for blush by the way there's a mirror in here and it's beautiful and they have these little like inspiring quotes on there so this one says live what you love right here and I love that who doesn't want to have like a little inspiring quote when they're doing their makeup so I'm gonna show you what this looks like this is so pretty and pigmented like I barely dipped and you could see that on camera so just make sure to kind of knock it off on the back of your hand see that like and I'm gonna keep this a little bit higher up Ugh, I just love 
it. I am not like a huge blush person. There are some people on YouTube who get really blush happy and that's not me, but with this palette, it makes me blush happy. So I just kind of take my sponge once again after I put on any powders, as long as your sponge isn't like sopping wet, which it shouldn't be ever, I always just kind of hit around the edges to make sure everything just kind of looks like it's coming from within. It doesn't look like you applied it on top. It looks like it's kind of coming from within and taking a sponge or even your brush that you used your foundation with really helps with that. And then right after I do that, I always end up going in just a touch more with my brush just to make sure everything looks blended. So that is what the blush palette looks like. I think now using that darker color for a bronzer, now it looks a lot better that I have the blush on. It didn't look bad at all, but just be light-handed if you're gonna do that. So now let's go in with the Catrice Amon highlighter palette again. Really cute packaging, really cute little quote. This one says, you are a good baby, and these highlights are so beautiful. This isn't like a highlight that's gonna be too intense, which I like, which is funny because the blush is really intense, but you've got a variety of colors. We have a lighter shade. This is more of like a whitish undertone. Then we have like a yellow undertone, a pink undertone, and then we have a more bronzy, darker undertone for deeper skin tone. So I usually just kind of go in with a mix of all three of these. I just, I'm gonna take a brush. This is the Anastasia brush. I just kind of rub it around all of them and we'll go ahead and go in like i said this isn't too intense i mean it's it's intense you guys can see it but it's not like glittery by any means it's just beautiful it blends so well oh gosh on camera that looks so pretty this is the first time i'm using it on camera i've just been using it in my bathroom without my studio lights and i can truly see how beautiful it is now this is so good Whew. I take it back. I said I didn't think that this was one of those palettes where you're gonna were gonna be able to go overboard, but I just like kind of went in ham and I really highlighted the heck out of my face, which is beautiful. And I know a lot of you guys like that stuff. I think I went in just a little too heavy here, but this you can really build up to just be stunning. And like I said, it's not at all glittery it's just like a wet looking beautiful creamy highlight and since I did go in with the more matte foundation I am going to take that all over the face basically I really like my base right now like I have a matte foundation on but I don't look super matte at all I think I brought the highlight down a little more I don't like to usually bring it down this far which is my fault because I hadn't applied this in front of studio lighting so that just goes to show you guys once again how much different studio lighting looks than natural makeup and again when you go outside things look a little bit different but let's go in with the Catrice Amon eyeshadow palette this is such a good everyday palette you guys I just almost stumbled on my words because I got so happy I love it they're pigmented they blend super easy and it's one of those palettes that you're gonna grab for every day because there you can make like a really bold look but it's not going to be one of those oh that is a bold look you know what i mean they're just neutral but still like beautiful colors so this isn't going to be like an in-depth tutorial i'm just going to fast forward through it and just kind of go wherever my mind takes me touched right here and I had shimmer on my finger so I just put a dot of the Catrice HD liquid coverage precision concealer which I love I use this for when my eyes water and I'm just gonna work that there is a brush hair coming out of this so I'm gonna try to 
avoid that, but I'm just gonna use this to kind of cover over. Could also use this to like clean up your outer corner if you wanted to. And then I'm just gonna take my sponge and press right over. And then I'll add a little more eyeshadow out there so it doesn't look so stark. But how beautiful is this? This isn't done yet, but love this palette. All right, you guys, I'm gonna leave the eyes at that. Nothing too crazy. All I did was I took Sunset, which is this color right here, and I ran that through the crease area and then in the outer corner to start. Then I deepened it up with a little bit of Sweet Sir and Runyon, these two darker colors right here in the outer corner. And then all over the lid, I put a little bit of Laguna, and then I just took my highlighter from the highlighter palette and I popped that on the inner corner beautiful colors. You do have to work a little bit harder to build them up. They're not like crazy, crazy pigmented, but they're also not like Anastasia shadows. I think they work beautifully. There is some fallout, so be careful with that. I tried to wipe away as much as I could, but I think this is beautiful and perfect for fall. It matches my shirt really well as well. So I'm going to pop off here, apply a nude liner to the waterline. It's from Essence. I will leave everything down below. I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm going to use my Maybelline Snap Mascara, And then I think I'm going to pop a couple of my Kiss Ever Easy lashes on. And then I will come back here. We will finish up the lips and we will be done with this look. All right, you guys, eyes are done. I did go in with my Kiss Ever Easy Lashes. If you guys haven't seen them before, I have a whole video on these. These are the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes. They're just little lash clusters, and they are so beautiful, especially if you have hooded eyes. I did take the black from the eyeshadow palette as well and worked that under the lower lash line since I did go in with a nude liner. I will leave all those details down below, but let's go ahead and work on these lips. So I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Sugar and Spice, and on top of that, I think I'm gonna put the Essence Velvet Matte Lipstick in number one. I think that'll look pretty good with this look. I really need to sharpen that lip pencil. I'm just too lazy. So now I'm going in with the Essence Lipstick. All right, so that is the lips. That lipstick actually isn't as matte as I thought it was gonna be. So I really like how this entire look turned out. I definitely have some fallout, especially around the nose from the eyeshadow palette. I'm not mad at it, it's fine. Just be forewarned, you might wanna do your eyeshadow before with this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set the face. We're gonna stick with this whole luminous look. I feel like my face looks pretty dang luminous, especially with that highlighter. So I'm just gonna use the Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine to set the face. Make sure when you use this, you really shake it up because a lot of the little shimmeries kind of settle into the bottom and you wanna make sure it's nice and dispersed before spraying. All right, you guys, and that completes this all drugstore. Get ready with me, I'm so obsessed with this look. I can't even explain it to you. This is so perfect for fall. I have nowhere to go right now because it's a Sunday night, but I literally want to go somewhere because I love this so much and it happens to match my shirt perfectly. So highly, highly, highly recommend everything I used today, especially these Amon Catrice palettes. They are so stunning. I don't think I'd use the blush as a bronzer again, just because it's a little too pigmented for that, but I overall think the look is absolutely stunning. So let me know if you guys want to see this eyeshadow tutorial like in depth. You guys know me. It's either an all eyes look or a full face and fast forward through the eyes because I talk too much. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, as always, please let me know below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the world to me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.